Welcome to the Influencers Project. The aim of these short digital resources is to help you to develop your digital and social media literacy. This video will focus on organizing and summarizing information from different sources in an ethical way. The first step when writing an online article or any kind of document is to organize the information. Searching on the web, you will find thousands of items of content. How can you organize them easily for your articles and posts? Here are some ideas. You can organize information in different ways. You can choose the chronological order, which is very useful when you are describing an event. Make sure to use transition words, first, then, finally, etc. Another way is to use logical order. You will have to do your best to make readers understand what you are talking about by providing explanations and making references to what you said in your text. The spatial order refers to the description of a scene as things are arranged in a physical space. The random order allows you to order your ideas based on whim and whimsy more than any specific or logical progression. Finally, the climatic order is when you keep the most important or exciting point until the end of the piece. The sources and ideas you use for a research project or to write an article need to be organised. However, they also need to be connected in some way and work together to create a larger picture for your reader. This technique is referred to as synthesizing sources. Whether you are aiming to inform, entertain or persuade, all the sources you choose should engage in a kind of conversation with each other as well as your own ideas. When you synthesize sources, you show readers you understand how your sources work together to support your argument. When you synthesize your online sources, a good starting point is to read them critically. You need to have a clear understanding of your source material to use them to support your argument appropriately. However, keep in mind that you will also want to account for sources that disagree and offer counter arguments. As you work to effectively synthesize sources, keep your own writing and what you're hoping to say about your topic in mind. Your article should empathize your own writing and what you want to say about your topic. Use your sources strategically and consider why you include each to support a point, to add a definition, or as a background to a counter argument. Knowing the purpose each source serves will help you connect the sources together. When summarizing information you find on the web, you should keep a format for your article or post. When writing a summary, remember that it should be in the form of a paragraph. First of all, you should keep in mind that your text should start with an introductory sentence presenting the topic you focus on. Make sure you use your own words and state clearly the purpose and the core of your text. You will also need to copy word for word three separate passages from the sources that you think support and defend the main point of your article. Don't forget to cite each passage by first signaling the word and the author put quotation marks around the passage you choose. Your text must be concluded by a last sentence. It can be a simple repetition and confirmation of the main points. Using online sources and information requires the respect of specific ethical rules. The main concepts are intellectual property and ethical use of information. According to the World Intellectual Property Organization, intellectual property, or IP, refers to creations of the mind, inventions, literally, and artistic words and symbols, names, images and designs used in commerce. IP is divided into two categories, industrial property, which includes inventions, patents, trademarks, industrial designs and geographic indications of source, and copyright, which includes literary and artistic works such as novels, poems and plays, films, musical works, artistic works such as drawings, paintings, photographs and sculptures, and architectural designs. Concepts that are often linked to IP are plagiarism and copyright infringement. However, the meanings are quite different. Plagiarism is the use of another's work without giving proper credit. Plagiarism is an ethical issue while copyright infringement is a legal issue. Ethical use of information implies the fact of providing information on quoting, paraphrasing and citing the work of others and on recognising and avoiding plagiarism. Plagiarism is the accidental or intentional use of someone else's idea or work without properly citing the author. Whether accidental or intentional, the consequences are the same. 
it is your responsibility to understand and avoid plagiarism. You have now completed this short video, which introduced to organizing and summarizing information and to the ethical use of information. For more resources that will help you to develop your digital and social media literacy, please visit the Influencers Project website at www.influencersproject.eu.